on the questions. How can we ask questions to the audience so that uh, they can have at least an insight into the uh, presentation topic? Now, the suggestion number three is giving statistics of your topic. What is statistics? Have you heard about this term before? What is the statistics? Uh, Mom, maybe like this, uh, Oh, I forgot, but like I have heard it. It's, it's more of a moral science. Like okay. strategy, maybe? Not a strategy. Anybody who knows what is statistics? Kush, Agni, Mukul, Saksham. Switch on your videos. Ma'am, may I tell? Yes, Siddhi. In my opinion, statistics is something like uh, that give that uh, define that place in a short your statistics of your topic or give uh, or give uh, like adjectives for your topic or tell about the topic okay well statistics basically refers to the facts or the numbers so whatever is your presentation topic if you present the real facts or numbers related to that topic that turns out to be the statistics of your topic Okay, for example, if I talk about, say, uh, same topic, the uh, habit of reading books or books are being replaced by ebooks. So you would give statistics. It has been observed. It has been seen that 30% uh, th of the youth have dropped reading as a habit because they are too busy doing their work or rather they are too busy in traveling wherein they cannot carry any of the books. So this is a stark statement when we see the book lovers who were wandering here and there and were found in universities. Now they are no more available. So you can just say like that. And based on this, you people have to do some research work right now only. So you have to search and present the statistics on the effects of global warming. You can Google it. Okay. What are the effects of global warming? And... Uh, Keep it in front of you, but your presentation style should be uh, attractive in a way that you'll be able to pull your audience to listen to you about the effects of global warming. So I'll be giving you five minutes to do this search process and uh, bring forth in front of me. Now, how we have to do this? You have to open uh, Google search engine and uh, you can just, uh, you know, whatever you want to search regarding global warming, statistics of whatever effects you want to write or anything related to global warming. Facts about it. Okay, not facts about global warming, but any no, kind of... We have to make it in PPT. No, no, no. You have to just speak. Okay, right man. now, no PPTs. Okay. Statistics are the facts or the numbers of, uh, related to a particular situation, Samridhi. Okay, ma'am. SVM students, how are you going to put the search process ahead? You have got the panels available. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, Siddhi. Um, we have to tell like uh we have to tell something in star interesting about the global global warming. Of course, interesting, but that is related to the numbers. That like people numbers get shocked. Facts. 
that people get shot like for example i'm just quoting a very uh, you know um, hypothetical example an imaginary example for example we can say that it has been seen that uh, in a particular village of india there are almost 95% of the girls which are not educated and the remaining girls are supposed to go to a school only uh, till 12 o'clock and beyond that they are uh, they are only supposed to do the household chores such is the face of uh, rural india welcome to rural india and the education for girls this is the topic theek hai so firstly i have given the statistics and then i have introduced my topic so this is what you have to do you can bring in two to three figures of uh, statistics or uh, you know yes rhythm uh ma'am i'm saying that after writing the statistics uh, we have to write, uh, we have to write that having said that tagline yes 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 okay ma'am ma'am which has to be the last line same having said that i'm going to tell you about the effects of global warming ma'am what does statistics mean statistics means the facts numbers and figures about a particular topic if the topic is education then you will search about the facts about or numbers of the education uh, educated okay. students education educated uh, children in india or uneducated children in india that depends upon you what you want to bring in that in front of the topic so you will search uh, the statistics accordingly and ma'am after Uh, after that you have to just open the topic having said that i'm going to talk about effects of global warming okay so within uh, three more minutes i think you should be ready uh point is you will find the statistics you will find the number maybe 16% 17% and you'll write some line in front of it but you have to completely prepare your opening line that is the twist here excuse and... me ma'am yes bete ma'am we have to tell statistic uh, statistic and also effects of global warming no only the statistics okay ma'am SVM students, you are late and uh, not responding. What happened? Sorry for late, ma'am. Yes, bitte. I'm sorry for late. And have you done the work? Ma'am, there was a power cut. Okay. so now the topic uh, svm students topic is of uh, the same topic effects of uh, global warming but the third type of beginning is going to be the beginning with statistics that is a fact the numbers so i want you to use the desktop to re do the research work and uh, find out the numbers related to the topic and again present it in front of us last one minute and the time is up who is ready Kush, are you ready? 
No, ma'am. Samradhi? Ma'am, please give me one minute. Okay. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes, beta. Ma'am, may I start? Yes, beta. more than 1 million uh, more than 1 cent going to be extinct oceans would be die almost 70 to 90 percent global warming in temperature increase uh, temperature would be increased to 0 0.68 degrees celsius in upcoming years maybe 2028 or 2029 climate change could be increased from 2030. Having said that, I rather Nana would like to share present uh, share my presentation on the effects of global warming. Good one, Rhythm. You've been able to manage it in a short time period. Good attempt. Okay, now Kush. Please switch on your video, Kush. Ma'am. Yes, no magic? yes. The use of plastic is one of the biggest issue worldwide. The product plastic creates global warming. Even a single pe people, even a single person is not is not there on the uh, world that is you not using plastic. Three fifty million tons is you is used worldwide. Every mm. year. Have you heard about mm. zero days coming near of water? We can't stop that if we if we carried wasting water. No more. Very good, uh, uh, Kush. You have tried creating a you know mixture of both, and it's really nice. Very good attempt. Just give me a moment. ma'am do you know what ma'am i thought uh, like you are uh, you have written and i don't know where you are no no i told that it's a call basically that's why i got on unmuted mode muted mode okay who's next to speak ma'am may i ma'am may i yes siddhi okay ma'am ma'am then may i after siddhi ma'am after siddhi may i okay ma'am after siddhi i was wait wait i'll give you chance don't worry Hmm. As you all know, as you all know, global warming is very common nowadays in our uh, in our environment. There is ninety five percent certainly that human activities are responsible for global warming. Uh, sea level is is set to continue to raise at a faster rate than over the uh, past four years. So, uh, so ah, uh, ma'am, what was the last line? Ma'am? Having said that. Yes, Siddhi. Ma'am, uh, was, I, was I audible? 
yes you were audible but uh, again the network got lost in between so after global warming yeah you can speak again okay ma'am ma'am please wait yes ma'am may i start now yes as we all know global warming global warming is very common nowadays in our nature so there is 95% certainly that human activities are responsible for global warming sea level is said to continue to rise at a faster rate than over the past 40 years seeing this i am going to tell you if effects of global warming very good nice one sidhi okay agni yes ma'am switch on your video yes ma'am as uh, as we all know global warming is prevalent uh, prevalent around the world global more, global warming refers to the long term increase in the earth average surface uh, and temperature, temperature. temperature due to human activities as my uh, as my last update in january 2022 uh, the uh, temperature increase and due to the uh, due to the global due to the global warming uh, 3,15,000 people were dead uh, 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 people were dead in the last year having said that uh, having said that i agni will share critical effects of global warming very nice agni you managed well now riddhi uh, sorry uh, riddhyanshi good attempt you people are now getting the things right it has been observed that from 1990 to 2019 the total warming effect from greenhouse gases added by humans of the earth's atmosphere increased by 45% Mm. About ninety percent of global warming is occurring in the ocean. The warming effect associated with carbon dioxide alone increased by thirty six percent. So, having said that, I, Hidanchi, would like to present a PPT on the critical effects of global warming. Beautiful, very nice. Okay, let's move to who who would like to speak now? Gorang. Okay, uh, Amriti. Uh, Go ahead. So did you know that according to NCEI's statistical analysis and data through October, there is a greater than ninety nine percent chance that twenty twenty three will be ran will run as the warmest year on record. Hmm. Another news has come that in twenty twenty two the Earth's surface temperature was around zero point ninety one de ninety one degrees Celsius warmer than the twentieth century average. Global temperatures have been constantly among the hottest on record in recent years. And do you know what causes this climate change? Well, it's one and only reason, and that is global warming. So, having told you this analysis, now I will like to move forward with our new topic, that is effects of global warming. Excellent, Samriti. Excellent one. I mean, so uh, fluent, first of all. Second, the merging of facts along with the statements that you have quoted in beautiful combination i think you, uh, you know it's it's more of a starting of a newspaper reporter reader so news reporter reader i should say so very nice thank you ma'am acing it ma'am uh, i'll uh, i will come in just 2 minutes okay svm students who are ready svm okay uh, shivam wants to speak Have you done the research work? No, ma'am. He had not done. He think. Ma'am, he is telling. Please show me the work. Okay. What about Athar and Rishab? Both of you. Have you uh, got back in search? Yes, ma'am. We are finding. You are still finding it out. Athar is saying something to you. Ma'am, in our school, from yesterday, suppose they have been begun. So, from that practice, we can't make, we can't do your work. 
no 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 uh, i'm not saying you do the homework but right now the search work was given for the uh, the slab work only you can go back to the desktop search the things and get back onto your seat that is it i'm not giving you any homework sort of thing ma'am can you tell again because ma'am i have come late okay it's about the statistics that is you have to find the facts in the form of number about uh, the global warming okay Search so the, this time the opening statement yeah this time the opening statement is going to be the statistics the facts understood the previous two openings were either you were giving your anecdotes or second you were talking about the questions now this is the third type of beginning which in which you are supposed to give the statistics so this is what you have to go and search for and then get back okay am um, i yes riddhi between 2030 and 2050 climate change is expected to cause approximately 25000 additional deaths per year hmm. earth temperature has risen by an average of 0.14 degree 0.14 degree fahrenheit or 0.08 degree celsius per decade since 1880 or about 2 degree fahrenheit in total from 2011 2020 in to 2020 the global hill temperature had already reached 1.1 degree celsius above 1850 to 1900 levels okay this is just a fact and figure but you didn't open the topic having said that i really would like to tell you uh, i would like to share my ppt on the topic effects of global warming right so now riddhi the way you have mentioned all the statistics they were good but they were uh, uh, too much heavily loaded i would say that if you are quoting numbers try to quote only one of the statistics and rest statement okay uh, because such such statistics might confuse people now gorang okay ma'am ma'am just a second ma'am ma'am ma audible yes yes ma'am temperature okay. rise global temperature has increased by approximately 1.2 celsius since the late 19th century with mm. signif uh, significant present uh, consequences for ecosystem and weather patterns uh, over the last century sea levels has uh, have risen about 8 inches uh, mm. on average uh, primarily due to melting ice and expansion of sea water as it warms uh, having said that i want to uh, i want to uh, talk about the effects of global warming okay uh, well the opening was little bumpy i would say uh, it could have been better with some better statistical inputs i mean the explanation could have been little bit better mukul are you ready yes ma'am okay saksham be ready afterwards okay ma'am um i'm just a second okay okay ma'am as of my last knowledge update in january 2022 global warming um global warming uh, trends were uh, evident with rising temperature it can melt ice and increase um frequency of um, extreme weather event for uh, most recent and specific uh, statistics and also 95% global warming um is caused by the burning of plastic and uh, and call cutting trees um having said that 
having uh, having said that uh, i am um, i am mukul uh, telling you three effects of the global warming okay well attempted mukul nice one and now saksham yes ma'am do you know there there are both good and bad types of air pollution and almost 5.5% of global warming is increased every day on the earth by the humans and due to climate change 3% of people die every day this is highly affecting us having said that i saksham arora would like to share the facts of global warming beautiful good one okay now i would like to have an interaction with you people in the in terms of whatever we have done till now um so you all know that uh, we have done almost three types of beginnings one being statistical beginning another being anecdotal and the third being the question based beginning so which one are you do you think you're most comfortable with you can uh, create it immediately wherein you need not to think much and you can do that on spot so please raise your hands for those who are dependent or are more comfortable with anecdotal beginning with anecdotes samriddhi agni and kush okay good and rhythm also who are okay with um question beginning mom like uh, you know like uh... all three are fine for me as a manage with all but the most favorite it, it turns out to be na like which starts automatically so dot and questions any question and questions okay both. right 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 Good. because so, like research first you have to find it out so that is like you have to search the perfect thing what you actually yes. want to present yes and uh, what about the questions please raise your hands for the questions Mukul and uh, Ridhyan, she wants to create questions. Samriddhi is also in for questions. Okay. What about Gorang also? Okay. What is for the uh, statistical beginning? Who all are in for statistical beginning? It gives you a good foundation when you already have a research work done, which gives you a strong foundation before your presentation. Okay, that's rhythm. Fine. So it depends upon person to person, but I would like to tell you that uh, there is a fourth kind also. and that is your own creation this is called as a niche a niche refers to a kind of beginning in which you are comfortable in your own style okay so you can create your own niche either it is a mix of all of them uh, some people start with a humorous beginning also some people start with a puzzling beginning also so that is up to you wherein how you will be able to catch your audience and now i am going to give you uh another task to search and present the statistics of walk through monuments of delhi so created within 3 minutes and then there is a homework also Please. can you give some example about this okay so uh for this it has been observed that uh, 79% of foreign tourist has already been uh, has already been visiting uh the popular mo monuments including lotus temple uh, from all uh from all the way from australia and norway there are total 79% of people who are adding light to uh, lotus temple in the months of summers but i think when it comes to people who only live in delhi or near around uh, nearby area people might not have even a, even caught a glimpse of lotus temple so uh with this ppt i would take you on a walk through to three monuments of delhi okay something like this got it samriddhi mom but let me have exactly make a ppt it's a mix of anecdote and it is up to you if you want to create a mixture of it but statistics need to be there rest mm. is up to you yes okay. yes mom we we can also make a ppt बच्चे इस पे पीपीटी नहीं बनेगी पीपीटी आई गिव यू अनदर वर्क व्हिच इज अ बिग टास्क व्हिच आई मेक यू अंडरस्टैंड इन अनदर 5 मिनट्स टाइम वंस यू आर डन विद योर सर्च वर्क रिसर्च वर्क मैम वी हैव नाउ वी हैव टू सर्च ऑन दिस यस
SVM students, are you doing the research work? Shivam, Arav, Yash, I know that you people are uh, basically young for this batch and that's why I had given you a separate batch. But in that batch, you are not coming and this batch, you are not working. And that doesn't really make sense. So either start working it out or if you're not able to work it out, come in the next batch, five to six. Arav, Shivam, Yash and Mayank. So it's been a week now I've been observing you. No, not a single work has been done. Ma'am. Not even bothered about it. Ma'am. Yes, Madhav. Maya, I have also do ma'am this work. Of course, you are sitting in this class, so that means yes. it is meant for all of you who are sitting in here. I would okay, not only talk uh, to Risha Bathar because oh. they are taking part. That's why I talk to them. Otherwise, this work is for all of you. Okay, ma'am. Start doing the research work. Okay. Okay, Samridhi, you can speak about it. So, according to the statistical analysis of 2021, around 6.06 .06 lakh foreign tourists arrive every year in Delhi. And uh, Delhi sits our third rank in total foreign tourist visits in 2021, with total share of 9.5%. Well, this shows that Delhi is such a great uh, place for tourism, and if it attracts many foreign travelers, this means that it must have something that is so uh, mesmerizing and beautiful. So mm. today we will be talking about some of those monuments in Delhi, and you will have a great walk through to the new monuments of Delhi and you will be amazed by the beauty. Wonderful, Samriti. Very, very nice supported facts and along with that, the statements that you put forth is very nice combination. It fits Thank in well. Thank you, ma'am. Am I can start now? Yes. Wait one second. May I speak? Yes. The India Gate is second popular mon monument of Delhi from my suggestion and I would prefer going at India Gate at night because the lightings are awesome. Do you know how many people eat lang langar at Bangla, Bangla Sahib, Delhi? Yes, I know. 30,000 to 40,000 people daily eat and all of them say that the langar is the best food ever I have tried. tried. Mm -hmm. Having said that, I push would uh, show you the uh, best monuments of Delhi. Very nice, Kush. A very beautiful combination of, uh, you know, what you offered in terms of uh, statistics along with the, the attractive part that how people like uh, the food over there and the lighting part. So I'm like, I love, statistics. I love going in Delhi for like uh, Bangla Sahib in CP and the night vibes are very good when the that when like a uh, hole and that Gurdwara is empty and no one is there. Yes. And listen that bhajan ram that are awesome. Around one or two. Yes, ma'am. Ma May I answer now? Yes, Siddhi. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am, please read. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, where <laughs> we go, you usually... Ma'am, may I start again? Yes, yes, yes. India. India is very famous for monuments. And the most famous place in India is known as Delhi, which is famous for monuments. The few more, the few most famous monuments are India Gate, Kutum Mina, Red Fort, and Chamina. So these four are very, these four are very famous, and these four are very famous uh, because of that Delhi is very famous. Usually, the people go to Delhi 
to visit these places only. And and because of these, uh, Delhi, you Delhi was used to known as Indrapras, where Pandavas used to live. Thank you. Okay. And uh, how are you going to open the topic in that case? Seeing this, I'm going to tell you, walk through the monuments of Delhi. I'll take you to a walk through through the monuments of Delhi. Okay, okay ma'am. Well started, but still can be improved. Okay, Riddhi. Okay, ma'am. Are you ready, Riddhi? Ma'am, I'm still searching. Who is ready? Rhythm? Ma'am, wait a minute. Ridhyanshi? Agni? Saksham? Kush, you want to say something? No, ma'am. Mommy. Yes, Agni. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Delhi, India is home to numerous monuments which with rich historical and architectural significance. Some notable some notable monuments are Kutub Minar in Kutub Minar, India Gates, Red Fort, Lotus Temple, etc. These are just a few examples and and Delhi landscape is dotted with many more mo monuments. Each contribute to the city's rich cultural tapestry. Uh, to the rich cultural tapestry. Uh, having said that, today I Agni will take you to the walkthrough of. But monuments. where are the statistics? We need statistics in this. That's important. Okay, who else is ready? Ma'am, Yes. Wait a minute, ma'am. Please start with them. Uh, Delhi is Delhi is only the place which is having. 174 monuments in that small capital of India in, in whole Asia. Monuments of Delhi almost use 90% of rupees of India. Indian government. Temperature near Delhi monument is almost uh, 36.5 degrees Celsius, which is a normal and uh, make the air, uh, feel the air, feels the person uh, so happy. Uh, having said that, I would like to share present share my presentation on the topic three uh, three famous uh, three famous monuments of a uh, walk through a uh, walk through three famous monuments of Delhi that are Red Fort, Lotus Temple, and Gateway of India. Okay, well tried, but again I would say um, you know you could have combined with better statistics in that case. But uh, nonetheless, it's it's a good attempt. Sure, ma'am. Yes, beta. I'm um, gonna give as I'm getting late for my next tuition. Beta, I have to tell you about a homework. First of all, listen to the homework. So okay, you do the homework, everybody. Choose any product category and give presentations on a product. You can use any of these category books, refers to the books, electronics, any of the electronic gadgets, furniture, any of the furnitures. Okay, you want to talk about, you want to tell to the public. FMCG products is food manufacturing, consumer, food, uh, uh, fast moving consumer goods, sorry. Fast moving consumer goods, which includes Pepsi, which includes any of the processed food. Okay, which you just bring in the form of a package and you can eat it. That is FMCG products. And automobiles, you know, that it includes the bikes and uh, the scooties and uh, the cars and everything. So, now you have to give the presentation on the product category that which should be different from one already presented in the class before. Like you had taken the topic of books also in your dream project. Somebody took the uh, other things. So you can, you should have a different category. It should have an appropriate beginning, middle and end. 
time duration should not be more than two minutes. This is what you have to do. Now you can begin about any of the books. You want to give the top, uh, you know, if you have read a book and uh, you want to tell about it to the uh, people, use the beginning, anecdotal beginning or a questionable beginning or a statistical beginning. Similarly, for any of the gadgets, furniture, in that case, you would talk about like furnitures are available on various sites, okay, including a study table, maybe including a different type of dining table or something like that. And uh, you have to talk about it. Ma'am, Ma we have to, uh, we have to, like, like, we have to sell that product. It's a kind of uh, getting your, uh, you know, client or audience attracted towards it, of course, because they can buy it. Okay. So that way you have to have your presentation. We have to make presentation in app. Of course, the first point was about this only where to the medium of presentation you have to select. It can be Google Slides, it can be Microsoft Office, it can be uh, your uh, Canva, Mentimeter, anything. Okay. Ma'am, can I share, can I, uh, uh, when I uh, done it, can I share it to you on your email? Yes, you can do that. And you love to make? Yes, you have to make this presentation. Ma'am, I have already Ma made this one. Ma'am, you have already made this presentation. Ma'am, on books. That's why I said the product category should be different from one already presented in the class before. Ma'am, Ma'am, Ma earlier. Kush, have you taken the screenshot? Yes, ma'am. Send it ah. on the. Excuse yes, Peter. Okay, ma'am. I'm in the screenshot on the group. I think uh, Kush has already sent it. Okay, ma'am. Ma I want to. What I want to do about books. Uh, uh, Samriddhi, I cannot let you travel in comfort zone for a very long time. You have to pick a different category altogether so that you, given any topic, you should should be able to present. It's so pick true, any other topic apart from books. Yes, okay, Siddhi. Ma'am, ma ma if I had said about the books, so can I uh, say about the automobiles? Like, we have to say about the objects. Last time, have... you talked about the hair oil, right? Which is, again, uh, one of the FMCG's product, consumer good product. So, you would not talk about FMCG, you will talk about any other product. Ma'am, uh, like, inclu including all of the product that has been talked about in uh, in this class, we have to not, we have to not talk about that. Oh, yes. You have to take a different category. A different one, yes. May okay. I start that research one? Rudyan, she wants to speak about it. Mom, maybe leave then. Okay, let Rudyan she speak, and then you can leave. I mean, we are still ha we are still six minutes away, so you still be in the class. Okay. Yes, Rudyan she. So as we all know that Delhi is a behemoth place, and it's a great tourist place. So, and it's uh, a city with a large number of monuments. There is 174 monuments in it. Now, there are some facts that I'm going to share which makes Delhi a beautiful place. That is, Red Fort took a decade to complete. Means it took a uh, large, uh, means it took a lot of time to complete. The grave was built as a garden tomb. See, now the grave is co uh, converted into a garden tomb. Kutub Minar is an iron pillar that hasn't rusted for 2,000 years. Normally, an iron rust in uh, like a 10 to 12 years, but it has still not rusted for 2,000 years. That And these are the facts that makes Delhi a profound historical significance as an important commercial transport and cultural hub. Very so, nice, having, Yanshi. Having said that, I would like to present a PPT on the monuments of Delhi. Blasting beginning, I would say. Excellent one. Beautiful facts come forward. And uh, I think, of course, it had attracted uh, others also. I was too interested to listen to you. So very nice, Ridhyanshi. Good one. Anybody else up for it? Gorang, you are left. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Go ahead. Delhi is known as the home of various monuments. Like Kutub Minar, India Gate, and Red Fort. I love visiting India Gate and Red Fort in night. And lots of people 
come to see monuments of Delhi from Norway and USA. Having said that, I want uh, you to come with me for walk through of Delhi monuments. Very nice. The personalized touch of uh, come walk through me to Delhi monument through the PPT is a very nice uh, personal touch added to it. Good one. So I guess now you guys are aware of uh, what is to be done when it comes to a uh, PPT and uh, how can we make the beginning of the PPT interesting. Uh, so on one level, uh, beginning is important. On the other level, your content is also important. Don't think that uh, people are only attracted to the beginning because they will be listening to you more in terms of the content that you create. So your content should also be like in three pointers and you should be able to explain it very well so that the audience curiosity should remain uh, lifted throughout the session. They should not feel it boring. So create your PPT in such a way tomorrow that uh, you know it comes up like a beautiful uh, production from your side. Search about it or uh, Think about first what you want to, uh, you know, show to your audience tomorrow. And then your main PPT, which you created in the beginning of, uh, you know, this thing will be there. And then there is going to be a team PPT also. You will be amazed to know that you are going to do multiple tasks, uh, wherein you'll be fighting with the people out here in terms of, uh, uh, you know, uh, the facts that you have collected about the places and the fact the other person would create about the place. So it's going to be very fun. I'm not going to reveal the secrets as of now. But yes, tomorrow is your PPT day. That's Friday. And from on Monday, uh, you know, we'll be launching into team PPTs also. Okay. So that is all for the day. You can leave. Tomorrow, we have to, from tomorrow only you have to present. Of course. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Namaskar. Namaskar. Ma'am, for the daily monuments, may I also? Yes, go ahead. Uh, so Delhi is a Delhi is a home of many monuments. Hence, it can the some of the monuments are Red Fort, Red Fort, Qutub uh, Minar, and Lotus Temple. And I love and uh, the Gurudwaras and temples are also there in in. In Delhi, and uh, I also love to visit Gurudwara, na uh, Bangla Sahib Gurudwara, and uh, all the we should visit the all the monuments and uh, uh, especially especially the monuments and the uh, other Gurudwaras and temples. Yes, uh, in the night because they are uh, uh, they are decorated with the lightning thing and. I love the writing and uh, having said that, I really would like to, I really would like to uh, lay, share my PPT and uh, take you to the walkway through the Delhi's monument. Okay. So, Riddhi, it's not lighting. First of all, it is lighting and you've tried again adding some personal touch to it, which I liked. Uh, however, it again could be better. Okay. So now that is all. You can vacate. We have got uh, Sargam, Agni, and Lavyansh. Uh, you people Namaskar have got the guest. Namaskar, Bye. Lavyansh. Bye, Bache, Riddhi. Namaskar. Lavyansh, Agni, yes, and Sargam. We have got the sample paper for today. Please take it up. Sample paper? Yes, it's a test today. Are you all ready? I told it yesterday. Mama, I am not ready. I am not ready. Mana. Uh, Mana. Uh, uh. Namaskar, ma'am. 